watch you give a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A did they rap it back, catching them back with they capping back. They roll my but we know it did. We cashing out, we bagging that. Stacking up, there's zero. Certified neighborhood hero. You can try one of them. Better not try with me, though. Hey. Bring it in, bring it in. Well, it down by two. When it go out here, run this play for the win. Let's go get it. Our formation, 28 sweeps, blue 14. Watch left. Huh, huh, huh. We to the mat, Atlanta hat, cop to the left, turn to the back. Try to see we weren't having that. Sit with your hat, drop it out with Alabama at. That would get for trying to battle rap. Hit, be one and done. No drive, but we running. Walk up to you while you're showing us stunts. Till you up that jury and money. Playing game, think it's showing up funny. Till my young win for me. Yeah. For the love of the bankroll, keep it bent deep. Don't nobody care about it. Don't nobody want to hear about it. You got problem, huh? Well, it's the same thing for everybody. I ain't gonna lie. I put my little day go by. Hang on the ground if I ain't no fight. If it one thing I want, get it can't go by. Trying to put six wheels on the Range Rover. I ain't finna play no game, that what you know, so. If you think at the top, tell them move over. Modern day Tupac in a new hover. Know that now come with us and down. We dodge it, stay the deck and clown. We chasing meals so we can put that down. Top, but we run the town. But with millions in with no cap and gown. We'll for all of what happened now. Metal throne, concrete crown. Call that line, you getting beat. Real white veteran. What academy? Deep. They remember me when they're sick and need they medicine. You better watch your partner, you from around here thinking sweet. You got the wrong idea. Get left out there. Tell them so what? I kept trap music all black. Still, I'm that stupid. Still down to do it if you ask stupid. Get locked up and get back to it. Yeah. Trap music all black. Get locked up and get back to it. Yeah. up and I'm feeling like a boss right now I woke up and I'm feeling like a boss right now I'm gonna hold it down I swear I roll up and I'm smelling like a boss right now I do this for my rounds coach it's the nfl on ea sports as you take a look there at lincoln financial field in philadelphia pa 
Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Washington Redskins. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Tackle that time by Sidney Jones. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. the 40-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Let's go! Brian 38! Brian 38! Hut. On first down, this is Geis. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ohio! 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 Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! Cut! We're set now on second down. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. Really nice pick there for the reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week, and a good story on that. He said he didn't even know he won the award. His buddy had to call him. He saw on television and said, hey, congratulations. How about that? And I'll bet you his buddy said, well, since you didn't know, I'll just go ahead and claim the award, right, and everything that goes along with it. But the reason he won the award the previous week and what we just saw there Instincts, understanding where the play is going and being able to make a play on the football. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. near the 40 to the 39. DJ Swearinger right there on the coverage. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 
20 point score gives yourself your be, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Wentz will try again on second down. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. He had a little bit of the turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Forced out to his left. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And he'll be brought down. That's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Wentz now on first down. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second down, here's Wentz. Escaping the pressure right. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Mike Wallace, the intended receiver, at its third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mike, Mike, come on. Now Wentz on third down. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. And here come the Redskins now. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. They start on the ground with Geis, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Free. It's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Third and long for Brissett. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. 
And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. On first down, Wentz looking middle, and it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Tackled there by Monte Nicholson. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Wentz. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here. This close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Once again here on second and ten. Nine time to his left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. play right and this play gets blown up they'll lose yardage back at the 17 well that's the big drawback to this play even if somehow the quarterback pitches it he's not immune to the big hit in this case he kept it and absorbed it anyway so still no touchdowns in the first half but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal so maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points you feel like it's a disappointment in a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it Punt's on the first better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Now a play fake here on first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. He had no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. 
And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Brissett on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. It's a loss of eight there on the first down play. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Now Brissett. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox. He's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Cut. On play action, Brissett. And he fires one that's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because so here we are in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll make it a second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Down and man inside, down and man. Black, black. Working from the gun, Wentz steps away to his left. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Into the Redskins. Have it, they do. And in this very cold night air, how much harder, Charles, is it to hang on to that football? It's a lot harder. And I know for the most part, we think about a ball being slick when there's rain or snow, any type of moisture. But when it's cold and dry and like it this. it is cold. <laughs> and it is cold. It go, it's also slick that way because you're not able to really grip it the same way. Your hands are cold and, and, and then the hits seem harder. So, yeah, it's a lot more difficult to hold on to the football, which means you have to emphasize it that much more. Wind chills right now, 12 degrees. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now he'll throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Black, black. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. 
Well, from what we've seen thus far, this is not a formula for winning football. When you have more turnovers than points scored, that's a tough way to try and win a game. A good starting spot for the Redskins as they come up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. And still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Black round! Black round! Black round! Black round! Black round! Ohio! Ohio! First down, Brissett. His throw caught at about the five. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Deshaun Jackson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Redskins are able to strike for six. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sua Cravens. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. On play action, Wentz. Flush to his right. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Ryan Kerrigan in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. 82, 82. Lynn, Lynn. 46 down, man, 5-4. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. of a full three yards and now it's second down. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. throwing on second down and he's got the veteran here it's Mike Wallace and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory he's got his first catch here before halftime and it goes for a first down they'll run it now out of the gun and he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Hang 
Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Shotgun now for Wentz. He's going to leave this for a running back. It's complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Wentz going to try and throw on third. Being chased out left. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Black, black. Go, go. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. He's got his man. That's Wallace. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting Redskins who have the lead here. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. They fake the give. Now wins. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wallace. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now Wentz, eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On play action, it's Wentz. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four Let's yards. Go. they got Let's five go. here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Let's go. Brian 38. Brian 38. Geis with a carry on second down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Flex round! Flex round! Reset to throw on first. 
And he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Nigel Bradham in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Here we go, Ohio! White 90! Ohio. White 90. Cut. For a set now on second down. Forced out to his left. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. For a set from the gun on third. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Derek Barnett coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it'll be fourth down. So the field goal unit is coming on here. And boy, this is going to be darn near impossible. This kick to shatter the NFL record, a 69-yard attempt. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. And this score will stay right where it is. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. They go back to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's a gain of five, and it'll be a second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. There's the option going left on second down. They run with Pumphrey. And shedding the tackle and now some room. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. Well, a lot of things have to go right for an option pitch to be successful. Everything lined up there on the long run. It does because you have to make the proper read. It doesn't matter what guy you've decided is going to be read on the defensive front. You still have to execute it. If he comes to the quarterback, he saw there, pitch it out to the running back, and off he goes. A lot of teams don't like to run the option because they don't like having their quarterback hit. This will be fielded at the eight. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal. Couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed confident in their defense that they can hold them. A first down throw for Brissett. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! 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 They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. 
That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, Brissett. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Richardson. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Flex round! Flex round! They'll run it now out of the gun. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down, Brissett. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost like they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game. Well, they said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. They'll buy some time right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. A great Monday night to wrap up the week in football. Two division rivals and a great finish ahead as we come up on first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And down inside the 15 he goes. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. Now, look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Swearinger. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Second down throw for Bissett. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. The Redskins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. He may try and run for this. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double cross on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. We're set on first down. Escaping the and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Derek Barnett in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They go play action with Brissett. This one complete to Jordan Reed. Pass the 20. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They come up first and 10 at the 16. Here we go. On the handoff, it's Geis. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Stay on the ground. Geis again. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Darius Geis, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Redskins have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. The extra point up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to or, or less than that. And, wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. They could get it done. But guess what? We see the end result right now. They have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Mike, Mike, let's go, let's go. Great, great. 81, 81. 
On second down, here's Wentz. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Right side caught by Jackson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Deshaun Jackson with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Redskins capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where... The coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass. This two shall pass. And then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves let's go, let's go, let's go. here. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a play fake. Wentz flush to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They needed 17 on third down, and that's exactly what they got. Here's Wentz to throw. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first down, Wentz. Looking sideline, incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Quentin Dunbar right there on the coverage. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This to get it back to a one-score game. And a kick by Elliott is good. So it's not an NFL record, but it's not far off. That'll go in the books as a 61-yard field goal. And wasn't it weird to see a guy line up for a field goal on the other side of midfield? The ball got halfway there, and you thought, no way is that going to make it. But it just kept carrying and carrying, and he winds up sneaking it right over the bar. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They have the lead. Still a one-possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now. 
just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Set looks to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a good game. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. Brissett now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. game is over and a little pride throughout the organization here because they said going into the regular season eight wins was the benchmark they can check that box off the list and let's face it many teams are going to say well eight wins how much is that that's a big number for this team and that was a great goal and to reach it that's just going to give them confidence moving forward